SB4, what an act of cowardice. What a legislative <laughs> act of cowardice. All right, uh, SB4, this new uh, Texas law that cracks down on sanctuary cities. Nancy Pelosi calling it an act of cowardice. Uh, next hour, we're going to talk to the Texas state lawmaker at the center of this controversy. Caused a bit of a dust uh, up in the uh, chamber of the Texas uh, uh, Congress there. Uh, but, but what's even more interesting is the fact that the dust up is, isn't being fairly covered. In fact, it's, it's, it's sort of been viewed as, you know, bigots running the asylum there. Uh, Mega TV news anchor Elvira Salazar on uh, if this law should be threat nationwide. We're going to hear from again that uh, that represented very shortly in the next hour. But uh, Elvira, I need your help understanding what really uh, is going on here. This this simply would allow uh, authorities to question individuals within sanctuary cities. I'm oversimplifying it, but explain the position here. Hi, thank, thanks for having me. This is a major mess, and it's an exercise in futility. I'm going to explain to you why. Back in 2016, Arizona, or the Supreme Court of this country, said to Arizona that what they were doing, which was the same thing, to ask the local cops to ask people that sound and look like me, uh, where are your papers, uh, it was not constitutional. Nancy Pelosi is there just gaining and scoring political points. She is blaming everything on the cities. She's blaming everything on the feds. And the reality is that there is just a bunch of hypocrites and a hypocrisy going around. Let me just share with you something that it's going to be amazing, this information. In December of last year, the Texas Tribune reported that there is an underground railroad, all right, to bring Mexican illegals to Texas because there is a construction boom. And the agricultural moguls and the construction tycoons need illegals. So, uh, you see, I'm just telling you that it's, 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 not, it's a very major problem that we well, need minute, one solution. This railroad solution. is to get as many illegals, Mexican workers, uh, to help out with this. The illegals. That's right, illegal people, because the construction moguls illegal people. need people. I just people. want to be clear. Illegals, so, illegals, okay, so illegals this yes, law, illegal. as I understand it, if you can help me with this, uh, would allow for steep daily fines uh, if these sanctuary cities uh, fail to cooperate with federal immigration guidelines. Um, on the surface, that doesn't sound heinous, but what do you think of it? I believe that it creates fear and at the same time solves a problem. The problem is that everybody is being put in the same bag. The political captain, the police captains of Texas, including Dallas and Houston, are saying they don't like this law right. because what's going to happen is it's going to make their boys look like the enemy. And then at the same time, I need to add that this law and the sanctuary city movement is making us Hispanics look like a bunch of imbeciles and idiots. Why? Because then it projects to middle America that we want to protect criminals and we don't want to do that because the, the uh, murderer of Kate Steinle could have killed my daughter. So you see, it's, 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 it's well, not it, rational. It, 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 but it, it's going to, it, get, it actually gets pretty violent, and it's dust up in the, in the Texas chamber uh, is a reminder that the, guy, the catalyst behind it is that Congressman Rinaldi had argued that he saw protesters there who, who were shouting that they were illegals uh, being protected, he said, by a, a number of Democratic lawmakers. He called ICE on them. Then everything, all hell broke loose. Do you think he was right to call? No, that's not good either. That's not right. No, okay, that's okay, not right ahead. either. It's not right. It's not right because then we are, what we're doing is that we're flaunting that we are illegal. And that's he not right correct either. Call, because it, was he right to call? I'll ask him, but was he right to call ICE? He, absolutely. He could. You, ICE is everywhere, whether uh, it's a sanctuary city or not. The federal government, as you know, it sits in the books, has the opportunity, has the right to go anywhere in the country and detain those that are illegal. Now, those are the bad hombres. I'm following what President Trump said at the beginning of his presidency. Let's go after the bad hombres, with the rapists and the murderers, the cleaning ladies and the people that are picking up the jalapeno peppers or the origins in Florida should stay until we have an immigration reform law, because that is what we really need. But in the meantime, if in the process of trying to follow that rapist or that murderer and you go into a sanctuary city and you're inquiring at the local officials about those who are legally there, is that 
going too far. That's what Nancy Pelosi seems to be no, saying. No, that is not going too far. Now, okay. what we need to define is what type of crime. And right. that's where it gets complicated. What type of crime? Rapist? Murderers? Absolutely. Now, somebody that is picking up and it's working for the economy. In Texas, you have 1.5 million illegals that have lived there for more than 10 years. Those people are part of the community. Those people have friends, kids, homes, cars, churches. Those people, if they haven't had a brush with the law, then I believe they deserve to stay right. without a criminal record and then wait for immigration reform law and give them some type of legality, which is not citizenship. And that's why now the Republicans have a golden opportunity. Well, we'll see. It, 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 it's a mess, but I, I, we'll, we'll see it where it goes. It is a major a mess it that is, we it, need it to work. It's much simpler than, than it appears. Uh, Elvira, thank you very it much. Good simple. seeing you. It's very simple. Good to see you. Thank All you right, for having me.